ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video for Wednesday, the 16th of January. This is James Spann. Gulf of Mexico storm cranking up. That means cold and wet weather for much of the state for the next 36 hours. Let's go to some Skycam pictures this morning from the ABC 3340 Skycam Network. Down in Peach Country, there's a look at downtown Clanton from our sky cam there. And uh, it's kind of a cloudy and, and cold morning. Readings are down in the uh, low 30s in most spots. Uh, there's a look at the lights of the city of Gadsden coming from the sky cam up in northeast Alabama in Etowah County. And in Alabama's capital city, that's the sky cam looking down over the eastern bypass in Montgomery. Nice looking storm coming in here. See the uh, system developing nicely. Some convection firing in the northwestern Gulf of Mexico. No thunderstorms, obviously, with the stable air here, but we'll see some uh, rain probably beginning this afternoon, becoming widespread tonight. And this thing is moving along at a pretty good clip. Beginning to think the rain's going to be out of here pretty early tomorrow morning. Here's a surface chart, and the uh, surface low is just east of South Padre Island. And we've got the uh, cold high sitting over West Virginia. Sometimes that combination can bring a good winter storm to parts of the Deep South. And uh, there is a chance we could see a few ice pellets or snowflakes mixed in with that rain this evening with the evaporative cooling process. But again, uh, this is not quite the kind of air mass you need for a big snow here, unfortunately. Uh, there's a look at the temperature scheme this morning. Really cold air, again, sitting over Canada. Just amazingly cold up there. And uh, around here, we've got readings mostly in the low and mid-30s over the northern half of the state. Here's the QPF map. This is the expected precipitation around the country for the next five days. And this is showing a strip of really heavy rain uh, with the surface low on the Gulf Coast. In fact, that's showing almost five inches down at Apalachicola. And the amounts really taper off as you get deeper into Alabama. In fact, it scales down to nothing just down there below Memphis. And again, uh, that's close. I, I might shift that a little north, but we think we'll see about a half inch of rain with this thing here. Will it snow a lot? No, not here. Uh, it will over the mountains of East Tennessee and Western North Carolina. Get up there over uh, some of the high terrain locations of the uh, Great Smokies, and you'll see a really nice snow with this thing, over five inches up there. Uh of course, that's fun. What's problematic is ice, and uh, this is the freezing rain outlook for the system. And this is suggesting the bench best chance of freezing rain. That's rain that falls when temperatures are at or below 32. Coats everything with ice. A long duration of freezing rain is called an ice storm. And those are nasty. Uh, again, far north Georgia, and this is north of Atlanta. I don't think Atlanta sees any problems. We got an affiliate radio station there. We Mentioned maybe a few ice pellets mixed in, but no travel problems for the uh, city there. Again, uh, far north Georgia, the western part of the Carolinas, eastern Tennessee. And there's your surface low track. And again, if we had true Arctic air in here, that'd be a good snowstorm. But we don't, so it's going to be a cold rain for most of the state. This is the uh, current uh, look for today at noon. This is coming off the OZ GFS. And we've got the... Uh, uh, trough developing off to the west, a southwest flow aloft here. Where's that surface storm? Well, it's in the northwestern Gulf. And as we have talked about now for days, initially the rain should begin to uh, fall this afternoon, probably evaporating before it reaches the ground, Virga. And evaporation is a cooling process that cools the lower column, and that also could mean some uh, ice pellets or maybe a few snowflakes for some folks this evening. But temperatures at the surface will be well above freezing. And then as uh, warm air advection kicks in from the surface low, it will be all rain. There's midnight tonight. Surface low is uh, due south to Pensacola and just cold and wet. And here's our precipitation type for midnight tonight coming off the uh, NAM. And that looks like mostly rain here. Those patches of yellow, that is freezing rain. And the blue, that is snow. And uh, you can see the greatest issue with that should be northeast of here. And again, uh, north of Gadsden, up, up there toward uh, Mentone, up on Lookout Mountain, there could be a little brief period with rain falling and a temperature close to 32. So I guess we can't rule out the chance of a little limited bridge icing up there in Jackson and DeKalb counties on the mountains. But uh, 
nothing beyond that. And then uh, tomorrow at midday, it's out of here. And uh, I really think uh, the models are trending correctly with this, looking at the satellite pictures. That I think the rain ends probably by 6 o'clock in the morning. And uh, tomorrow will be just cloudy and cool. Now, Friday, we've got the Arctic front to the north and uh, still unsettled weather down in the south in the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, there's not going to be a lot of moisture here, but the Arctic front will be coming through Friday night or early Saturday. And, you know, that might squeeze out a few little snowflakes somewhere. But again, with limited moisture, no issue. The issue is the cold. There's a look at Saturday. That's a good Arctic delivery mechanism right there. Down below, look at the thickness values just dropping off like a rock. Windy, cold. Uh, we're forecasting a high in the mid-30s. The wind chill will be below freezing all day, maybe in the single digits at times. That's tough. And then Sunday morning, the uh, gradient lessens up and uh, the wind should be close to calm and we think temperatures should drop into the upper teens as far south as Birmingham. We've got an average low of 18 and of course the colder valleys could be down there in that 10 to 15 degree range and maybe some single digit lows up in the far northern valleys up there uh, Sunday morning. Now Monday of next week I'll just say right now next week I think the GFS is really having a hard time uh, with what might happen so confidence is relatively low here but this is suggesting Monday would be dry We've got a wave off to the west on Tuesday. It just kind of fizzles that stuff out. I think we had better mention a chance of rain because some runs have depicted a decent rain event uh, Tuesday with another Gulf-type wave. And uh, Again, that's a 1,036 millibar high at Kansas City on the northern periphery of that. Somebody might have some icing issues, but uh, again, uh, where that would be, don't know yet. Let's get this thing out of here tomorrow, and we'll deal with that. And then Wednesday of next week, that looks dry. Thursday of next week, another Arctic trough developing there, and that looks like another cold air shot. And again, some moisture with that. But again, we're kind of nudging out there into voodoo country. And speaking of that, let's just peek at the end of the month. That's the uh, 31st cold trough over the east. Split flow, upper level low, west of El Paso. That's got trouble written all over it. But again, this is just pure voodoo and uh, no confidence in the solution, certainly at this point, that far out there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, we'll have the uh, uh, complete information on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. The next video here later today by 3.30. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Weather, weather, weather.